Good evening, everybody. What's up, Prime Time Squad? Come on in, come on in. We got a little something, something to talk about. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know you guys have not been sleeping under a rock. So it's nothing new. Um, the beef that's been going on with Tasha K and Cardi B. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just wanted to get your take on everything and I want to give my take on, um, everything that's going on, but, um, make sure you guys, when you come on in, make sure you click the like button, make sure you subscribe. If you are not already a subscriber, please. And thank you very kindly. And also please share the um, video on your social media platform, whether that's Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Thank you very kindly. <laughs> but come on in. Um, sit down. Get your drink. I'm just sipping on a little water right now because I'm about to head to the gym right after this uh, live and meet up with my sister friend. But um, what what do y'all feel about the Cardi B and Tasha K situation? Now this um little spat between them two. Um, Tasha K might not call it a beef. I think Cardi B would. Um, it's been going on for a minute. Cardi B had got really upset with Tasha K um, a while back. I don't know if it was before or right around the time of the uh, interview that Tasha K did with uh, who was it, Star Marie? Uh, you know, Star Marie, the one who had claimed that she used to live with Cardi and she made all these allegations, let me make sure I say that, allegations um, against Cardi B regarding, you know, her having herpes, Offset having herpes. Um, Cardi B, you know, used to, uh, I mean, have roaches in her home. I mean, she was nasty. She was filthy. She was, I mean, she has said a lot of things about Cardi B that was really, really, really negative. And Cardi B um, claims she had reached out to uh, Tasha K in her inbox and in her DMs. And I think Tasha K verified that, if I remember correctly. But um, she wanted her to tell her ahead of time before the interview, you know what? Please, you know, don't be biased. You know, when you listen to this girl, don't be biased. You know, woo woo woo. After the interview, Everybody was coming for Tasha K. Oh, you was too biased on that interview. You was agreeing with everything the girl said. You was putting words in her mouth. You was leading her on to say this, that, and the third. So, you know, um, I thought the interview was kind of awkward myself. And I did have a lot of doubt in a lot of the allegations that Star Marie was making claims of, you know, regarding Cardi B. But <laughs> I'm not really on the Cardi B bandwagon like a lot of people are. I'm not on that Nikki wagon. I'm just neutral. I don't really follow either one of them. I don't really listen to any of their music unless it's on the radio. I don't buy their CDs. You know, no shade. They're both great artists, both, both beautiful women. But I want to know how y'all feel about this um, video that Cardi B had put out saying that she was going to sue Tasha K because she didn't had enough. Um, I guess Tasha K has been making a lot of videos lately, a lot of videos um, on Cardi B, on her uh, marriage, on her doing drugs, on I mean, just just all kind of things. And even some of her subscribers is even saying, you know, in the comment sections. Why are you going so hard on Cardi B? You know, why do you got this big thing for Cardi B? Why are you always dragging Cardi B? You know, um, your last 10, like 10, 15 videos have been nothing but Cardi B. Um, a lot of people is accusing Tasha K of being a bully. Like bullying, you know, and I didn't heard this before, not just with Tasha, not just with Cardi B. But I didn't heard it before with other celebrities <laughs> that Tasha K is a bully. Um, but Cardi B, she snapped back this time. You know, she and the thing is, she had made a allegation. She had made a claim that she was going to sue her um, on her Instagram. Uh, I did. I couldn't find her Instagram. I mean, I found her Instagram, but I couldn't find the video that has been going around. So I don't know if she deleted it. Because it was just like a few days ago. So I don't know if she deleted it, but I did find it, you know, on the internet. So I'm going to let y'all hear this little uh, snippet 
of this um live that Cardi B did on her Instagram. So one second. One second. Those of you on Instagram, if you want to tune in to me on uh, YouTube, it's Tanya's. I'm sorry, Tanya Knows No Limit. So you can see the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Let me push play. Oh, that's why that you saying that about a step uh, like a, a stepfather. My stepfather loved me more than my dad. Okay, I'm not saying that though. I'm just saying that there is no love like your paternal and your maternal pa love that your parents give you. The fuck. So my 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 baby father is not a deadbeat. He loved his daughter. I have a great stepfather that loves me and give me advice. And love my mother. I actually am so happy that my mom got her a great ass husband. But he will never replace the love that my father gives me. Same way if Offset was to go find another woman. Yes, she could be the greatest woman in the world. That still don't make... She's still not going to love my daughter more than I do. Same way if I find me another great man. He's, he's still not going to love my daughter the same way her father loves her. The fuck is wrong with y'all? Y'all bugging? But yeah, that shit has really got me tight. I don't like people talking shit about people that's close to me. I don't like people talking shit about my publicist. That's like my sister. Same way I will write for my little sister, I will write for anybody that's around me. Especially at this point of level that I am in life that everybody just wants to use me. I, I cherish my day ones. I cherish them and I love them. And it's always going to be like that. Period. Oh God, I will delete this shit, man. I don't give a fuck. Fuck is quiet. Hello? Who? Ah, oh, hi. Hey, I tell her, come up. I gotta go. <coughs> I'm, I don't know, y'all. I'm really, I'm really passionate with people that, with people that show me loyalty. Oh yeah, and here and my boy Schemo just fucking wrote on my shit right now. Let me tell you something about my boy Schemo. All right, so there's this blogger lady that fucking hates the shit out of me, and I'm gonna sue her ass because I'm tired of her making up fake stories, harassing all of my friends. Like this lady constantly stalk me. Everybody that she see that I'm close to or like coming back on the pictures that she literally stalks them and then she goes and claims that people are giving her information about me says some disgusting things about me and my homeboy schemo let me tell you something about schemo schemo is the nigga that turned me hat when i was 16 years old and i've been friends with the nigga for a long time that nigga see me going in and out of relationship with niggas and i see him going in and out of relationship with females Get up about me and my friends you dumbass bitch i'm gonna sue you for defamation of character because it's like you know what I let the bitch play and talk shit about me, but when you talk shit about my daughter, you have I, that's when I have a fucking issue with you. And and I'm gonna and that's the type of shit like is that like you be letting these YouTube bloggers talk mad shit and you let it, but when they get out of line, it's like you know what? I'm just gonna take legal action because I'm sick of people. Like I'm really sick of people. Like the fuck. Anybody that she think I'm close with, she got a fucky story to tell. Like, how you think that I'm close with some girl, and then you're going to go ahead and make up stories about her talking about she's a crackhead and everything? This woman got three kids that are that are active on social media. Like, people just want to make up stories about people and talk shit about people. Try to, because, you know, just using my name, you get automatic clickbait and shit. And it's like... When they don't have a story to say about me They will just make a story up Or they will make a story up about my friends And I'm sick of it Like I'm just sick of it Like it's like 
I know I get it that I'm famous and people are going to harass me. But when you harass my friends and talk shit about my friends. And when you put my daughter in your fucking mouth. That's when I have a fucking problem. Because I will bury a fucking block for my child. Bitch, I go to jail for fucking life for my kid. So don't even ever try it. And I'm going to sue that blogger because I'm sick of it. Gathering all my fucking information, bitch. You want to keep harassing me? You want to keep harassing my friends? You want to keep making shit up? I right, then, bitch. I'm going to take all your fucking bread. You think I'm fucking playing them. So crazy. I hate being famous because I can't put my hands on people. Like, people really be fucking trying me. And I just got to sit there and eat it up. Like, I'm sick of it. Bitch gonna put a whole fucking disease on me. Like, bitch, is you crazy? I kiss and love my my on my daughter on. And because you so thirsty for clickbait, you gonna put mad sick shit on me and then make shit up about my child? And then on top of that, I've even seen Schemo, who's like one of my best friends for like three, four years. But we always talk because that's somebody that I know since I was a kid. That's somebody that get it popping for me. People be bugging. I swear to God, yo, I really don't like this fame shit. Y'all people are sick. Y'all people is weird. Weird as fuck. This bitch literally be stalking and stalking my friends. Like, bitch, what whole fucking weirdo? A bitch that's 40 years old and pregnant too. And then all you could do is talk shit about me, hoe? Fuck out of here. All right, y'all, that's my makeup artist. Okay, so that was about a good, I don't know, four, five minute. Instagram live video that again I could not find on Cardi B's page. I had seen it over the last few days. Um, matter of fact, it was on her page, of course, when she first uh went live. But then um I was seeing it on other people's uh uh platforms, social media platforms. I went to look for the video again <laughs> and it was gone. And I'm like, did she delete it? And I went through all the live videos, but then again, you know, it expires in 24 hours. So that's probably what happened. That's why I hate Instagram, because if you go live, it only lasts for 24 hours. Um, I do some of my reviews on Instagram, like I'm on Instagram right now and I'm on YouTube um, as usual. But uh, I hate that after 24 hours, it goes away. So that sucks. But anyway, that's why I always tell people on Instagram Please uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, Tanya Knows No Limit, and also uh, Tanya Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews. But what do y'all think about that? Do y'all think Cardi B has a case? Um, And do you think she was pressured to try to go forward with a lawsuit? Because I don't know how many times I have heard... Uh, YouTubers or, you know, bloggers say, I want Cardi B to sue um Tasha K. I wish Cardi B would sue Tasha. Tasha, she got a lawsuit against Tasha K. Where is her, you know, PR? Where is her, you know, her lawyers? You know, why is it she got nobody on this? And then I heard a lot of people going, you know, back and forth. Oh, they can't sue her because, you know, she's a blogger and, you know... I don't think you can always get away with allegedly, not all the time, especially when you like really, really um, defaming somebody's character. Um, she says she's going to sue her for defamation, um, harassment, cyberbullying. Um, it can be a laundry list of things. You know, if, if she really goes forward with this, it can be a laundry list of things that her lawyers come up with. But do you think she has a case? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Black Star. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> Do you think Cardi B has a case? 
I mean, I don't. I met. I used to follow Tasha K. I don't follow her anymore. I stopped following her a while ago. Um, I just, I'm just not with all that. Some of the stuff, I just think she goes way too far. I just think she goes way too far. And especially with this Cardi thing, I'm like, sometimes it does seem like she has a vendetta against Cardi B. And I, a lot of people don't understand. Like, and I'm not, I'm not a huge Cardi B fan. You know, I, 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 don't, I couldn't even tell you the name of her songs besides that uh, Red Bottom song. <laughs> what is it? Bodak Yell? I mean, I can't. <laughs> it's that definition. <laughs> Now y'all know, y'all know that girl is like, <laughs> she be trying, she be trying, she be trying to talk, talk right. She be trying, <laughs> but that had me cracking up. And I'm like, um, again, some people think she has a vendetta against Cardi B. I don't know what it is. I just stopped. I just, I couldn't do it anymore. At first I thought she was so entertaining. Then after that, I was like, dang. All she do is, I mean, just, it's one thing, and I don't know. She claims that she's a journalist, but I think she takes things too far. And, right, I don't listen to Cardi B. If it's on the radio, I listen to Cardi B. If it's on the radio, I listen to Nicki. I mean, I, I ain't never bought neither one of them chicks' album. Never. Never, never been a big fan of either one of them. Are there are certain songs that I like, you know, certain catchy songs that they always play, like, you know, when they put their singles out and I'm like, hey, you know, but never went past that. And, you know, no shade. I just never been a huge fan of either one. Not, not saying they don't have talent. They they have talent. They're both beautiful women. Um I wish they weren't go always going back and forth with each other like they always do, you know, especially Cardi B, you know, she's now, well, I, shoot, I don't even know if I should say she's now married after, <laughs> after everything that her offset has been going through. I mean, they done separated, but he's obviously, you know, wants to be with her, begging to be back with her, running up on stage at her concerts. Interrupting her concerts with flowers and cake and milk and cookies. You know, <laughs> I couldn't believe that. I'm like, he running up there with flowers, cake and milk and cookies. Um, she, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it, entertainment, a lot of people on YouTube are very entertaining. She is another form. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's another form, but you know, everybody got their different platforms. You can't tell people what to do on their platforms. I would never tell people what to do on their platforms or how to run their platforms, but some people I just can't do. I just can't do. <laughs> but so, do y'all think she has a case? Um, me, that's me necessarily. Um, I don't necessarily think, um, that she'll have a case as far as lawsuit for money. I think maybe she can sue her and kind of like, okay, do y'all remember when, um, y'all remember when, uh, who was that? Maddie and Kaya and A.T. Elliot went to court and it was like, they didn't get nothing out of it. They didn't get no money or nothing out of it. The judge basically said, you know, you stop talking about this one. You stop talking about that one. You keep this one out your mouth. You keep that one out your mouth. Y'all go your own merry little way. <laughs> and after that, everybody gave each other nicknames. That was like when, that was like when I started seeing a lot of people on YouTube calling uh, everybody nicknames. Like they call Tasha K, TK, or what? What else they call her? They call her little Boosie. Um, they call Michelle. Uh, uh, what they call Michelle? I can't remember. That that Arnold. Not, what's I can't remember. Y'all y'all fill me in. Fill me in. I can't remember. But they call Maddie Manhead. I mean, they started giving everybody nicknames, 
And I think that was just basically because of them going to court. They didn't want to get in trouble. They didn't want to get sued. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe it could be something like that where the judge would be like, okay, you know, just to stop all the madness, you can't post about her anymore. You can't post about her anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've never been in the, uh, you know, in the um, courtroom. Uh, well, I have been in the courtroom before, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I've never been in law or nothing like that. So I don't know if uh, she can sue her or not. A lot of people think she can. A lot of people have basically been on YouTube and social media begging Cardi to take her to court. I didn't seen it. I done seen it many times. Take her to court, Cardi. Cardi, you got a lawsuit. I wish Cardi would sue Tasha K. Somebody needs to, to sue K Tasha K. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of feel like I think uh, she might have been pressured from the media. You know what I'm saying? To take action against Tasha K. I don't know. That's what I feel. I don't. Y'all, let me know what y'all feel about that. And also, oh Lord, also, um, let's see. I hit on uh, Offset trying to win her back. Do y'all think that they'll get back together, or if they should? Because me, I have stated maybe a couple of videos back that I thought at first that it was just a you know publicity stunt. Uh, she publicly saying that she wasn't going to be with him anymore. She's breaking up with him. They're getting divorced. Um, and then he came and made his own little social media um, uh, statement. Yeah, we ain't together. We broke up. Blah, 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 blah. He also apologized um, publicly because he's like, you know what? I embarrassed her publicly cheating with these different women. Um, so I'm going to uh, apologize to her publicly. I don't think he should have went on stage and interrupted her concert. Uh, I don't know. But, but, <laughs> something like that might make Cardi B be like, hmm, hmm, this fool really loved me. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I actually think they might get back together. I actually think so. But after hearing about what the what his father said, well, actually, I believe that's his stepdad, Offset's stepdad. Um, what he has said, uh, I'm sure most of you probably already heard it, but I'm going to uh, read a little bit of what he has said. And he had actually put this in a group, one of his alpha, because uh, he's in a fraternity or was in a fraternity, so he's part of a fraternity. Um, in his alpha phi alpha fraternity group post, it was a private group post somebody in that group and that's why i say i have facebook groups i have about hmm oh my i have about probably 10 facebook groups that i run and that don't it that don't even count like my family reunion my uh uh hip-hop line dance team group um my uh oh yeah i'm over my uh high school reunion so i have a group for that so that don't even count those kind of things just you know so social media facebook groups and we always say you know we try to uh keep it close knit in those groups but you never know if somebody's going to take something and screenshot it and put it on a main platform you know outside of that group so, but I think in this case, with his Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity group, I mean, this group of brothers, I mean, they, they take, they, they take, they do pledges, you know, to look out for one another, to pro help protect one another. You know, them, them groups are like serious. That ain't no, like, just no girls club or no boys club. Them alpha fraternity groups, sorority groups, um, <coughs> I, I just, I just can't believe that one of his brothers 
took the post that he had put in there just just to be talking to them. I didn't done it before. A lot of people have done it before. They have something they want to talk about uh, personally, a personal situation. They might do with their husband, their wife, their kids, their job, and they don't want to put it on their main social media platform, but they want feedback. So instead of putting it on a main media platform like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if they belong to a Facebook group, they'll post it in there. Say, you guys, you know, give me some feedback. It, it happens all the time. You know, it's not uncommon. I've done it before. <laughs> but I've never had nobody just go and take what I said and just post it on, you know, somewhere else. But I thought that was really messed up. But anyway, let me read a little bit of what he said. Um, first of all, his name, his uh, Facebook name is Tony Pla or Tony Play. I don't know how it's pronounced, but the first name is Tony, of course, T-O-N-Y. Last name is P-L-A. That's what his Facebook name is, and that's his uh, stepfather. And his stepfather claims that Cardi B needs, um, has a special need for social media attention and that she plays a large role in the problems they're having within their family. Um... <sighs> Right now, his family, he said, is going through a very tumultuous time. Um, he allegedly wrote in, well, I actually saw the post, but, you know, he allegedly wrote in that group post, what you see in the media is only the tip of the iceberg. Social media is a powerful tool, but certainly no place for family situations. However, our youth, specifically my son's wife, does not understand that. Um, then he said, she seems to want to take everything to social media, which we all know that, but, um, <laughs> without regards to the devastation it has on others, past, present, future, or especially what it does to other children. Um, he basically is saying that his son is not innocent. He's done a share of dirt, but it seems like he's blaming most of the drama on Cardi B. Um, He's saying the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session. Uh, people do and say hurtful things about my family members daily, uh, specifically his child. And while he, he said, while he ain't perfect, he is mine. And as a parent, I have a duty to protect him. So what is, what, how I take this is, even though um, Offset has done some things, especially publicly, to... Uh, to embarrass the family and Cardi B, he has to take his son's side. Regardless of what Cardi B does, regardless of what he does, he has to take his son's side. So he's in the um, business of protecting his son. As far as Cardi B, um, it, the way this post is going, it's, it's like he doesn't really care too much for Cardi B. Um, but he does admit, you know what? We talking about some young kids. Um, his 25 year old son, they have a limited supply of money. Um, a lot of women chasing offset. Um, so it's like, it's like any other, uh, any other, um, celebrity or baller. Ladies everywhere, ladies everywhere. If you ain't strong enough, you're going to fall for the okie doke as well and possibly end up with some diseases, some babies out there that you don't want to take care of. So what I would tell Offset, um, keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants. If you don't want to do it with Cardi, find somebody else that you want to be with <laughs> or just don't be with nobody at all because all these women out here are going to get you in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. And um, sometimes you just can't turn back the hands of time. And erase everything that you've done. So, um, but he was saying, you know, Cardi B is high headed. She thrives off of social media attention. Um, and basically a recipe for disaster. So I don't know how y'all feel about that, about what he has to say about Cardi B. It looks like he's placing most of the blame on Cardi B instead of on his son. He's like, yeah, my son have faults and everything, but Cardi B, you know, she's high headed. She's always on social media. She's, you know, ruining the family and he can't handle it. And he went on to say other things, you know, how he wished he was still, you know, a school teacher, a football coach instead of offsets, you know, of the father of somebody, you know, a famous celebrity, because this is really upsetting their family. So I, me personally, 
I don't think just because Cardi B puts a lot of stuff on social media, I don't think that he should necessarily put more blame on Cardi B. It takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. He's done put stuff on his platform too. He doesn't done put stuff publicly. He didn't have females put stuff on their platforms publicly. So again, I it takes two to tango. That's how I see it. <laughs> yep, he told his truth and Cardi told hers. Yep, yep. And I just, I mean, at the end, it's all about the baby, baby culture, that beautiful, beautiful baby. Um, I hope things work out for them if they don't end up staying together. I hope at least they can, you know, cope, co-parent and be cordial to each other and, you know, not keep throwing each other under the bus and embarrassing each other. Because one day when your child grows up, they going to see all this. They're going to read all this. This stuff stays in the social media. It don't disappear. And I'm sure Offset's older children, you know, they probably hear about this stuff in school, you know, talking about his daddy all the time, his daddy's wife all the time. So, you know, <clears throat> it's all about looking after the kids and protecting the kids. But um, as far as his father, just protecting him, I understand that's your son. But don't be just throwing all the, don't be throwing it all on Cardi. <laughs> don't be throwing it all on Cardi. Because if I do believe your son started all this mess when he was out there dipping and dapping and everything that's happening. Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, back to this touch. Okay. Um, as far as the lawsuit, again, um, I titled this video, Do Y'all Think She Has a Case? Um, with me again, I, I believe that it might be a case just for them to keep quiet and qu quit talking about each other. But other than that, I don't know. Cardi B talking about suing her for everything she got, taking all her money. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that, if that's going to happen, but mm, y'all let me know. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole situation. Again, I don't really follow Cardi B. I hear so much about Cardi B. I don't have to follow Cardi B because she's always in social media and somebody's always posting something about her on their platform. I don't have to follow her. All I got to do is open up my YouTube and it's like a gazillion videos on Cardi B. <laughs> so I don't have to follow Cardi B. But anyway, um, I still think her and Nikki are both talented women and both beautiful women. And I hope they eventually squash their beef as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, you said at the end of the day, the repercussions of throwing shoes. <laughs> that was fun tea. That was funny. I think I posted a vid a picture on my Facebook. I need to find that that picture. <laughs> um, Cardi B, her dress was all the way pulled up. And I don't know what was underneath it, but her dress was all the way pulled up and she was looking all crazy and she had that knot on her head. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was embarrassing. Yes, she embarrassed the heck out of her. Out of herself. She yes, she did. I do agree. I do agree. But <clears throat> I don't I'm hey, like I said, I'm not a big fan of either one of them, so I'm not no uh, Cardi fan. I'm not no Nikki, uh, Barbie, Barb, whatever y'all call them. <laughs> so I don't pit the two against each other. That I don't do. But they both, they both needs to remain grown women, stay on their grown women stuff. Cardi B, I think she needs a mentor. I think she needs a mentor. I think somebody needs to uh somebody who's a celebrity that have might have been through a lot of probably uh media embarrassment or um you know somebody like that an older a older woman somebody in the either the music industry or you know enter, entertainment industry period somebody needs to mentor that child because somebody somebody hasn't been able to get something through to her that i do believe she needs that so but again um justice is served justice i don't know what you mean by that justice is served as far as 
as far as offset, hmm. Cardi was always on Instagram. She herself said she won't change. And, and that's the thing. Cardi B, that's how we know who she is in the first place. Because when she first came out, how did she get famous? How did she get famous? Instagram. Posting videos. Posting posts on Instagram. That's how she got famous. Um, And then uh, the producers for Love and Hip Hop you know, reached out to her and put her on their platform. Then she got a little more famous. And um, now here we are. <laughs> here we are. But one thing I did uh, hear from somebody was um, they don't think Cardi B was ready for the fame. They don't think she was ready for the fame. They feel like um, Cardi B, where she came from, you know, poverty and all the things that she's been through, you know, growing up and then becoming famous. She, like, went from social media, Instagram, to, like, one of the biggest stars out here. And it kind of happened, like, you know, overnight. It kind of happened overnight. And they think she, she never was really ready for it. So I don't know if that has some, a lot to do with uh, her maturing or not maturing. Because I do believe, how old is she? I know Offset is 25. I I don't have my... uh. Let's see if I can look up how old this child is. Uh, Let's see. She's 26, I believe. Okay. So she's a tad bit older than Offset. Not much. Not much. But yeah. <clears throat> and that, that goes for everybody. Any celebrity, any entertainer, any enter entertainer out there. You have to be careful what you do on social media. You have to be careful what you do out in public. For one, I did think what she did with uh, Nicki Minaj, when she ran up on Nicki Minaj, I mean, we used to use that phrase all the time when we was growing up. I'll still use it now. You run up, you're going to get done up. <laughs> that's 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 real true <laughs> you run up you're gonna get done up but i think that was um inappropriate for what she did um especially for the event that she was at you know i, I agree that was wrong that was very very wrong but as far as all this um this lawsuit pertains to as far as her being bullied, so she says, so she alleges, being bullied, um, being stalked. Now, Tasha K claims every time she does a video, you know, one of her, uh, uh, okay, Cardi B claims she be stalking her friends, all of her friends, in their DMs, calling them, inboxing them, emailing them, all trying to get information from her. So that's part of her lawsuit as well. Tasha K is like, okay, my sources, my sources, my sources. I got this from my sources. Um, I don't know if them sources gonna have to come out if they do have to go to court. What y'all think? Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely her mother skills. I think she's a good mom too. I think she's a good mom too. I do. But um, everybody ain't ready to be a parent. Hell, when I had my first son, he is 21. Thank God he's doing okay. I mean, he done went to school. He done went to high school. I mean, he went, went all the way through school, graduated from high school, went to college. He's doing okay. I wasn't ready to have no kid when I had him. I know nothing about that. Please. <laughs> Change of pampers, bottles, and all that. And I was a tomboy growing up. I didn't know nothing about no kids. So it was the grace of God and the help of my mom <laughs> that I was able to raise him to be a wonderful young man that he is today. But yeah, I don't think throwing anybody under the bus about their parenting skills, um, especially if you haven't seen or heard, it'd be different if you heard, oh, Cardi left her child for 30 days or two months while she went and partied and, you know, some, 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 or like the dude, um, who just left his kid. Oh my God. I was going to do a live on that too. Um, I'll probably do that this weekend, but that guy who left his, uh, six year old daughter in the car with his, uh, infant 
And while he was in the store shop shopping for almost two hours, and the six-year-old got tired of the little baby screaming and crying, and so she, what she did was took the seatbelt and strangled the little baby. She didn't realize she was killing him, but she strangled the little baby. And when the baby was quiet, she was like, okay, you know, she's a six-year-old six little girl. Okay, he's quiet now. And so the now is, the man is on trial for murder. Mm. Homicide, murder, something. That's sad. That's sad. So if you haven't witnessed anybody being a bad parent or if it's just not put out there by law enforcement or anything like that, I would never, never go for somebody and call them a, ga a bad parent because you just don't know. Everybody's not perfect either. But what you say? Will she have to show medical records and paternity tests to prove those allegations? Medical records and paternity tests? For her baby? Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> now I'm confused. <laughs> oh. Oh my God! I'm just look. I'm just scrolling through the internet right now. I think I had heard about this the other day. Cardi B says she wants Offset's pipe game back. She said some other stuff, but I'm not even about to read it. I'm not even about to read it. But anywho, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this. Um, this whole situation. If y'all think Cardi has a case, if y'all think Tasha K can be sued, do y'all think Tasha K deserves to be sued? Do you think Tasha K is a bully? Put it all in the chat. Let me know how you feel about Tosh K. Let me know how you feel about Cardi B. And after the video, I'll still get your notifications. So I'll be able to chat it up with you in the comment section. Even if you comment after the video is over. But anyway, in the meantime and in between time, as usual, Prime Time Squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out.